what am I supposed to do with you? Oh, hi, beastie. Da -da -da -da. Um, Sammy, why are you talking like that? Ugh, I just watched Maleficent again. Oh, and that made you call this little doll beastie? I was referring to you, actually. What? Huh. <gasps> Oh no, don't get mad, Susie. You remember that it was what she called Aurora, right? But she did it because she loved her, by the way. And, uh, I kind of love you, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love you, too, Sammy. And since we're talking about Maleficent here, I think I know what we should do with this doll. Hello, beasties. Oops, <laughs> Sammy confused me a bit. I meant hi, guys. Today we'll turn an old Brad's doll into a little copy of the beautiful yet powerful fairy Maleficent. Oh, I love this movie and this character. Can't wait to see what we'll get at the end of our craft. What about you guys? Do you like Maleficent? Then give a thumbs up to this video. Oh, look, her hair is a mess. Hmm, what should we do about this? Any ideas, Sammy? Well, in my expert opinion, we should cover everything with a nice hat. Follow my lead, Sue. Uh-uh. You don't have clotted hair. I think the only option here is scissors. Guys, be careful when working with sharp objects. We'll quicken the process a bit. Voila. Bibbidi bobbidi subscribity. <laughs> Sammy, what a wonderful wizard's assistant you are. Or rather, an assistant to our doll fairy to be. Now we're gonna need some plastic wrap. It will help us make a wig with horns for our doll. We will press the wrap really tight to the doll's head. This way, the wig will be the right size and fit perfectly. Then goes the second layer. We'll use wet wipes for this. Either take a big one or just take two of them like I did. We'll also press it tight to the doll's head like this. And secure everything with a thread. We need to make sure it doesn't move or fall off. It should cover the whole head. We'll shape it later. And now we'll need some white glue. We'll pour it like this. Be careful here, guys. Try not to glue yourselves. Oh, it's okay even if you touch the glue a little bit. Hot water and soap are the perfect solution for this. So we're carefully spreading the glue with a brush all over the surface like this. Now we'll leave it for a bit, and when the glue sets, the wipes will keep the doll's head shaped, and we'll continue. Hey, Susie, don't you think that right now the doll looks more like a mummy than a fairy? <laughs> You're right, Sammy, but don't worry. I'm about to fix this. The first thing is we'll draw the outline of the future wig. Do you remember it, guys? It was a bit of a pointy bit here at the forehead. Oh, I love these bold lines, too. Thanks. And here on the back of the head, we'll draw a line like that, not too close to the neck. Let's see what we have here. Look, guys. The glue is already hard enough and keeps the shape of the doll's head. Now we can easily cut out the base for our wig. Oh, by the way, Sammy, do you know where our polymer clay is? The one left from our recent craft? We're gonna need some now. Got it. I'm already on my way. Great. While I'll be finishing here. Be very careful with sharp tool, guys. Remember, it's better to ask an adult to help. Mm. Look what a nice cap we have here. It fits perfectly. Ugh. I hope this will be enough. Thanks, Sammy. Give a thumbs up to my wonderful assistant. As you can guess, guys, we'll need polymer clay to make the horns for our Maleficent. We'll take two pieces equal in size approximately like this. I mean, the horns should be equal, right? Or, I better say, symmetrical. We'll take one piece first and roll it to the desired size. And then we'll make a delicate curl like that. And then we'll take the second piece of clay and do the same. Here we go. Pretty symmetrical to the first one, huh? And after this, we'll simply attach the two horns to the cap. Ugh, it's better to press them a bit to secure them. <clears throat> oh, horns! Hold well! Oh, <laughs> Sammy! We'll secure them with clay, not magic. Just apply the clay all over the surface of the wig. But you know what? Let's do it. Let's use a bit of magic here. 
Huh? Looks cool, right? Just a bit left. We'll paint it black. And the beautiful headdress is ready! Make sure to cover the doll just like I did. And wear rubber gloves, guys. Be careful with spray paint. It's coming out awesome! Hey, look, guys! Our little beauty already looks like Maleficent in this wig! We need a bit more to make the picture complete. The correct makeup. Oh yeah, her eyes should be frighteningly beautiful. Or beautifully frightening. Ooh, good question, Sam. We'll know when we're done. First, we need to make her face a bit paler. By the way, Sammy, I have a really important assignment for you. You can't scare me with important, Susie. <laughs> Our fairy needs her wings, which have feathers and… No more words. I'm on my way. Oh, <laughs> what a responsible slime. I wish everybody had such a helper. In the meantime, I'll get up to the makeup. The eyes of our doll are already green, just like Maleficent's. We'll make them a bit brighter using green eyeshadows. A bit of white color here. And blend it a little. This will totally look like the makeup of a real fairy. Let's quickly do the same with the second eye. Oh, it looks magical! But I think we'd better make the eyeliner brighter, too. Here we go. Nice. Oh, this really reminds me of Maleficent's powerful look. Guys, what do you say? And we should probably make the eyebrows brighter and more expressive. The final touch, false lashes. And then the makeup is done! And our little doll can be rightfully called a fairy Maleficent. Wonderful! I think you can fly on these eyelashes if you blink your eyes really fast. <laughs> Speaking of flying, where is Sammy with those feathers for the wings? We're about to start crafting them! I'm here! I swallowed the feathers! Oh, wow, let me help you. Stand still, Sammy. Well, you did that makeup really fast, too. But I'd make these look red, you know. Of course you would. Oh, the great Maleficent expert. A bit of white here to make them look more realistic. Perfect. All that's left are Maleficent's famous cheekbones. We'll draw them with pastel crayons. Make the powder like this. Please, be extra careful and don't cut your fingers. Mm. Now we'll take a thin brush and apply the powder on her cheekbones. There you go, pretty. It's time to get dressed. Check out these paper patterns I made in advance for the dress of our little Maleficent. We'll place them all on fabric so that we don't get confused when cutting them out. Magic will help us save some time. Oh! The next step is sewing everything. Hey, Susie, you know what? We can make Aurora afterwards and all the other characters, and we'll have the whole magic world of Maleficent. Oh! <laughs> Hold your horses, Sammy. Let's finish this first. Please, Susie, let me help you. I'm the best sewer after all. Okay, Master Sam. Your help will be quite handy here. And in the meantime, I'll make the wings. Check out this wing base I made from thin cardboard. Now we'll take glue and feathers. I wonder where Sammy found these. Don't worry, Susie. No birds were harmed. Oh, <laughs> that's great news. Okay, so we'll take one feather and carefully glue it to the cardboard base. Then we'll take another one. And another, and so on. Big feathers go first, followed by the smaller ones. Oh, guys, they're so cute and stylish! And here is her outfit! Whoa, Sammy, this dress is gorgeous! <gasps> no way! You even sewed a zipper? 
Now it'll be really easy to put this dress on our doll. Oh, and this cape is just awesome, Sammy! You're the best fashion designer ever! Yeah, what would you do without me? Come on, let's try it on our little Maleficent. Oh, it fits! This is so great! I bet she's delighted. So we should give her wings immediately so that she won't get mad at us. Oh, don't worry, Sammy. I'm sure she knows that we are her friends. Up, done. Hmm. Something's still missing here. <gasps> A magic, magic staff. staff! We'll do it in a few moments. One, two, three, four. Voila. We'll take a bamboo stick and apply some hot glue all around it. You need to do it really slow so that the glue is distributed unevenly. See? It's as if the staff is made out of tree branches. Just be careful with the hot glue, guys. And a small emerald on top. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's just a rhinestone. Now it's time to paint it. Whoa, this really looks like tree branches joined together to give Maleficent her magic power and strength. And to make it look even more magical, a touch of gold paint. All done. Aha! Beware the enemies of Maleficent! She has feathers and a magical staff! the one who will be cleaning up all this mess. And also I shouldn't be fat after midnight and I can't stand the bright light. Nah. Nobody feeds you. You're raiding out for it yourself. And you do it at night so I don't reprimand you for that. But what if I say that I shouldn't be splashed with water? Then I would say that we won't start doing our craft until you take a proper bath. And we're planning to make Gizmo! Hi guys! Did you guess that earlier today I was portraying the Mogwai? Or the Gremlin! Hi everyone! <laughs> Today, we're going to make our own gizmo out of this old Brad's doll. This won't be the first makeover of ours, guys! Browse our channel for those videos and don't forget to give this one a thumbs up! And like in those other videos, we'll start today by removing the doll's hair. Be very careful with the scissors, guys. Like this. There you go. Strand after strand. Let's see. <gasps> it worked! <laughs> nice job, Sammy! <laughs> <laughs> you bet! But what are we going to do about her face? She has nothing in common with Gizmo! That's not for long. We don't need to remove her makeup or anything this time. We'll just use a special solution to degrease the whole surface of the doll's face. <laughs> this looks a bit like a doll spa treatment. <laughs> Doing. What? Don't you like me with these eyes? <laughs> I'm not sure, but we need those for our craft. Guys, always remember to be careful with the glue gun. Here comes one eye. We'll glue it here. And this is another one. Okay. Well, we can't leave our gizmo without eyelids. He blinked quite a lot in the movie. Of course not. And we'll use some soft polymer clay to make them. This amount will be enough. Uh-huh. Let's form something like an upper eyelid. 
this way. <laughs> That's good since I was really worried for her. Don't you worry, Sammy. We just started. Guys, it's important to attach the clay really well and smooth it out. This way. So you might also need a modeling tool like this one. So don't forget about the lower eyelid. We can't do without it. Of course I didn't, Sammy. I'm making it right now. Okay, here it is. Looking good. <laughs> Let's make the second eye. And done! <laughs> <laughs> See, the doll looks pretty weird with those eyes. I don't know. Hmm. I kind of like her this way. Anyway, we should let the clay dry out. And in the meantime, we'll work on the other parts of Gizmo's face. Oh, guys, I just can't stop recollecting that old movie about Gizmo. It was about that little... Sue! <laughs> okay, go on. One man happened to buy a cute mogwai in a Chinatown antique store as a gift for his son. Mogwai actually means something like the devil or the bad spirit in Cantonese. Sue, you're interrupting! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Ahem. The new owners were warned about three main rules of having a mogwai at home. No bright light. Ah! No water. Ah! And no feeding. That's right. But of course, the rules were broken and new creatures, the bad gremlins, appeared. But luckily, they were defeated. The owner of that antique store took Gizmo back and it all ended well. The end! Oh, that was fast talking, Sammy. <laughs> That's because you kept interrupting me, Sue! I apologize for that. I just didn't want you to spill all the beans. You know, it's not as interesting to watch a movie when you already know all the twists. You're right! Less talking, more working then! Where are we at with our craft? Well, I seem to have finished with the muzzle. Gizmo can already be seen here. Right, guys? But now we need more polymer clay, cause we're starting to work in his ears. <laughs> they should be pretty big, you know. This way. Uh-huh. Hmm, what if you show me how to do this right ear and I'll deal with the left one? What do you say? I like that idea, Sammy. Follow my lead. And remember, be gentle! <laughs> First, we need to shape the ear. Like this. Wow, Sue! This looks pretty interesting! Then we'll make it look more natural. I mean, as much as possible. <laughs> Don't be afraid to press a little harder. Now, we'll have to wait for a while so the clay can set. So, our ear is ready to go! Let's glue it now! Wait, where's… where's our gizmo? Sue, so stop the panic! Here he is! Wow, Sammy, you also made his paws! They're so cool! Oh, they look so real! And these toes are so funny! <laughs> oh… Sue, so, you know me! I always do my best! Of course, Sammy, you're the master! Guys, let's glue on the second ear! There we go. Good. <laughs> Guys, be careful with the glue gun. Ask the adults to help. Now we'll cover this part to make it look nicer. This way. Perfect. Sue, I mixed something here. You'll probably need this. <gasps> Good job, Sammy. And I already prepared the brush. We'll use this acrylic paint in a nude color to start with. It's just like the skin color, you see, guys? Paint carefully. Yes, yes, Sammy, don't worry. <laughs> and I see that the work is going great. And which part will you call next? <laughs> It'll be the ear, of course, Mr. Inspector. Sure. 
sure Sammy but a little bit later. Okay, only the feet are left. Lose your weight! Let me do that! And bibbity bobbity subscribity! <gasps> awesome! <gasps> oh, Sammy, your magic worked out great! And here's the bank, Sue. Thank you for your hard work. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Let's take care of the details. Guys, we're finally done with painting part. Just a little bit left. Let's make a cute belly for our gizmo. <laughs> and here it is. Sammy, gizmo was kind of furry in the movie, uh, so. Say no more, Susan. <laughs> Great. Now we can work on the last and most important stage of our craft. We'll glue the fur to his ear. And now to the muzzle! We will glue the fox fur in pieces, like this. Here comes the second part! This way… Oh, this defo won't do. Let's spit up a little. <gasps> Look at how cute he is! Ooh! <laughs> oh, and this is what we've got. Hello, Gizmo! Oh, you're so nice to the touch! <gasps> He's perfect from all sides. Oh, I love him already! <laughs> what do you think? Will these eyelashes make him even cuter? Sure, Sammy. Uh, <laughs> it tickles! That is actually a great idea, Sammy. <gasps> Check this out. Ha! Blown eyelashes definitely make it impossible to not fall in love with these eyes. Do you agree? Then give us a thumbs up! for being with us today. Give us a thumbs up if you liked our craft and subscribe to our channel if you're going to repeat it. See you, boys and girls! And now, a water fight! <laughs> <laughs> Get ready, Sammy! What? Run! Run! <laughs>